but going as far as saying that it started coronavirus what's up guys the text bot here and oh boy i am super excited because june 22nd is near and that date is when apple's rumored to hold wwdc 2020 in which they will announce ios 14 which is cool i can't believe we're that close to ios 14 so this is again a rumored date but based on historical evidence based on when wwdc's were held in the past mac rumor states that we will probably see an event on june 22nd probably an online event because of coronavirus as guys would expect coronavirus so oh boy we are super close now ios 14 might actually be called iphone os 14 so from ios like 1 all the way up to ios 4 ios was called iphone os so there's iphone os 1 iphone os 2 iphone os 3 and once we made it to ios 4 it was no longer called iphone os 4 it was just ios 4 so they changed up the name and now with ios 14 apple is rumored to be going back to the naming scheme of iPhone OS as opposed to iOS. Apple can't really, you know, choose which one they want to use, right? They're like, should we go with iOS? Should we go with iPhone OS? Maybe let's change it up halfway. I don't know, okay? So it might actually be called iPhone OS 14. Now, as you guys know, iOS 14 is going to focus on the performance and quality of iOS because iOS 13 was like the buggiest software I have ever used in my life when it comes to iOS. So with iOS 14, they want to kind of improve this and make it a more very fluid, non-buggy software. So they're going to focus on performance and really stability a lot with this new iOS 14 update. Now, of course, that's not to mention that we will still get some new features such as list mode, augmented reality, sleep tracking. iOS 14 will bring support for Apple AirTags. There will be new iMessage features, which are super cool. So if you guys want to watch my full video on features coming in iOS 14, then I'll put the link down below in the description. Go ahead and watch that video as I don't want to run through all those features again in this video. That would be kind of pointless. And so yeah, the iOS 14 device compatibility list was actually leaked. So now we know basically for certain which devices will be compatible compatible with iOS 14. So it's basically the iPhone 6S and up. And for the iPads, basically all iPads that support iOS 13 currently will support iOS 14 except for the iPad mini 4. So yeah, guys, that's basically all the new info rumoring about iOS 14. So let's see if Apple will actually hold a WWDC on June 22nd. But yeah, guys, let's quickly talk about the iPhone 12 as well. So the iPhone 12 is rumored to have a more angular design, kind of like the iPhone 4 and 5 and 5S and 5SE. So it will have a more squared off design, which I personally am a huge fan of. I can't wait to hold that in hand for some reason i like the industrial look like on the iphone 5s this was like my favorite phone uh this is actually my first iphone that i ever got was the iphone 5s i wasn't able to get other phones back in the days but yeah the way i got my iphone 5s was that there was actually a black friday deal on the s4 for 99 cents so i got the s4 for 99 cents and then i put it up on craigslist for trade for an iphone 5s and so yeah the iphone 5s was worth more but someone traded me and i was super ecstatic i was so excited to finally use an iphone so yeah the iphone 5s was actually my first iphone which is pretty crazy seems like i entered the game pretty late because i couldn't really afford apple products but yeah i'm super excited that they're going back to the squared off design it's gonna look really cool especially when it's on the newer device with the edge to edge display it's gonna look super nice, okay? I feel like that's gonna be a phone that I constantly whip out of my pocket just to, you know, hold it and just feel it because it's just such a nice and beautiful, elegant, very well machined phone. I cannot wait. Now, Apple is rumored to release four different iPhone models. Yes, I said four. So two of them will be entry-level iPhones and the other two will be the pro-level iPhones, meaning the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So yeah, Apple is really trying to cater to every demographic, well, whether you're trying to get a budget iPhone or a very premium iPhone, they pay a lot more for. And unfortunately, the iPhone 12 looks to be keeping the notch because they're going to be putting a new sensor there as well called the LiDAR sensor 
sensor, which basically measures distance. So it'll be good for augmented reality. They're going to be taking augmented reality to another level. Even like with the Apple AirTags, you will be able to kind of bring up the camera and it will hover like a little balloon over where your device is that you're looking for. If it's an under a couch cushion, it'll hover like a little balloon over it. Now, of course, the iPhone 12 will also probably have 5G. Maybe I'm not sure if all this controversy regarding 5G will settle or not. All these conspiracy theories, I don't think any of them are true. We've had 5G forever with Wi-Fi routers. So if our Wi-Fi routers have been transmitting a 5G signal for so long, why would it really affect us that much if we put it in cellular towers? I don't think it caused the coronavirus. I don't think it does any of that, all right? Will there be any like health defects with 5G? Uh, yes, probably. There will probably be some, okay? I'm not gonna lie. But going as far as saying that it started- Corona! I think that is just a way too big of an accusation that is not true. I don't know. For me personally, even when I use this phone right here on 4G or LTE, I don't like to talk like this. Whenever I'm on the phone, I usually have it on speakerphone and talk like this because when you put it up to your skull, then all the rays from the cell phone towers are basically just going into your skull and interfering and it could cause some issues in the long term. So I usually like to hold my phone like this on speakerphone or it's, I don't know, putting my AirPods when and answering a call just to be safe. And also your iPhone can get pretty disgusting. So I do watch my phone daily, but still it gets disgusting and I don't like putting it up to my face. Ooh. But yeah, guys, this video turned out to be a little longer than I expected, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this information insightful. And yeah, as always, this is your boy, the tech spot. By the way, okay, my wrist. Okay, I've been receiving some comments saying like, oh, like we should be concerned about him because it looks like he cut his wrist, but that's not a cut. It's a cat scratch, okay? I looked at it and I literally told my friends, I'm like, okay, yeah, people are probably gonna think that I've been cutting myself because it looks like that, but it's not. I promise you guys, I am in good health mentally and kind of physically getting there. But anyways, guys, this is tech spot and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.